Good afternoon and welcome to this webinar where we will help you identify the hidden treasure within your SuperOffice CRM. Today, my colleague Chris will play the role of the system admin or CRM guru in a company using SuperOffice. He will take you through a common situation you might face using core functionality, including dashboards, selections, bulk update, and sales intelligence or Saint. A typical situation you might find in your organization is that the managing director has tasked his team with growing more business from the companies that they have existing within their SuperOffice CRM. The marketing manager has asked Chris for his help in ensuring they are ready to perform a mass mailing with a follow-up phone campaign. The marketing manager would like data cleanse so it is complete with email addresses and telephone numbers alongside identifying anyone without GDPR permissions and subscriptions and then to identify the priority targets of those customers who had purchased last year, but not this year, or have been neglected with no contact in two months. I'll now hand you over to Chris. In order to meet the needs of our marketing manager, I'm going to use dashboards. And dashboards provide an excellent graphical representation of the information within your system. You'll see that I've created a dashboard called Data Cleanse, and this dashboard consists of three tiles. On the right hand side, we have a tile displaying all contacts without an email address. Underneath, we have a tile displaying all customers without a phone number. And on the left hand side, I want to create a tile to display all contacts without marketing consent. In order to do this, I need to create a selection to retrieve that information. So, if I click on New, Selection, the first thing that we need to do within the selection is to give it a meaningful name. So I'm going to call this selection All Contacts Without Marketing Consent. We then need to decide what kind of information we'd like to retrieve. And in this instance, I'd like a list of contacts. So I'll choose Companies and Contacts. Next, we decide if the selection should be static, dynamic, or combined. And because I'll be using this selection in a dashboard, I want that information to automatically refresh. So I'm going to choose dynamic. We could then assign it a category, choose who the selection is visible for, and once we've done that, we can save it. We now need to start adding our criteria. And for this particular selection, it's fairly straightforward. We just want to display all contacts where consent e-marketing is set to no. Once we've added that criteria, we can refresh our selection and we can see that we now have 337 people that don't have e-marketing consent. We can now use this selection within our data cleanse dashboard. So if I go back to dashboard and click on new, we can give this dashboard a name or contacts without marketing consent. We would then like the dashboard to display companies and I'm going to choose companies by category and business. For our data source we can choose the selection that we just created all contacts without marketing consent and then we decide who the dashboard should be visible for and in this case I'll select all and now we can press OK. We now have a very good data cleanse dashboard showing us all the information which needs to be updated. Another powerful feature of selections is the ability to generate follow-ups. And I'd like to generate a follow-up for the account managers to contact all of their customers that don't have a phone number. So in order to do this, I can go back to selections and I've saved this particular selection as a favorite. And here, we can see that we have all customers without a phone number. I can then go to the task tab, generate follow up, and I've created a follow up type called data cleanse. This will allow me to do further reporting later on if I wish. I can then select a date for the follow up to be generated. So I'm going to say tomorrow. And then we can add a note in here, please contact your 
customer and ask for their company phone number. On the next screen, we can assign the contact to the company owners or the our contact. In case we have duplicates within our selection, I'm going to tick generate only one follow up on each company. Then we can click finish. And now all of the account managers will be notified that they need to contact their customers in order to obtain that information. I can then repeat that process for my other two tiles. Now that part of the team is cleansing the data, that satisfies the immediate needs of the marketing department. We now have to address the requirements from our sales director, who has identified a distinct lack of sales from our existing customer base, so I want to see where these opportunities lie. I'll hand you back over to Chris, who will show you how to uncover these hidden treasures in SuperOffice. Our next task is to meet the requirements of the sales director. And again, in order to do this, I'm going to use dashboards. This time, you'll see that I've created a dashboard called Hidden Opportunities. And this dashboard consists of four tiles. In our first tile, we display all customers that haven't been sold to within the last six months. Visually, I can quickly see that we have a large number of customers in the legal sector that haven't been sold to. I can click on this in order to drill down, and it may be that I send this list to our marketing department who can then perform a targeted campaign just for these specific customers. In order to achieve this particular tile, again, I've created a selection, but this time I've used what we call a combined selection. And combined selections are very powerful, as they allow you to retrieve information that's not actually stored within SuperOffice. So here we can see that by combining all of our customers with customers that we have sold to in the last six months, produces a list of customers that we haven't sold to in the last six months. If I go back to dashboard, our second tile shows all of our forgotten customers and prospects. Again, I've used a selection in order to create this tile. And if we take a look at that selection, you can see that I've used slightly different criteria. In actual fact, I've used criteria from Saint. And Saint allows us to perform quite complicated searches very simply. So here, I'm finding all companies where in the last 60 days, there haven't been any activities. That combined with company category is company uh, customer or prospect gives us the results that we require. I can then show our account managers how to produce a call list. So they could, within the mini card, select selection members. They can find the selection which I've previously created, and then they can navigate to each company and perform actions on that company. You'll notice that some companies have a picture of a telephone, and this is a status monitor. And status monitors is a visual indication that we need to perform an action with this particular company. I can click on the telephone and quite easily create a follow-up. Our third tile consists of upsell opportunities. So this could be all customers that have bought a certain product but haven't bought a related product. I'd like to use this tile to add all of these customers to a project. And then maybe the marketing or sales department can use that project to perform further actions. So again, if I go to my selection and find upsell opportunities, this time I'm going to click on task, add to project. I've already created a project called upsell opportunities and by clicking OK, we'll now add all of our selection members to that particular project. Our final tile shows all high value forgotten sales. So these are sales over a certain amount that there haven't been any activity within a certain time frame. And as previously, 
I could go to this selection and then use generate follow-ups so the account managers know that they have actions to perform for these particular sales. Chris has shown you how to uncover the hidden treasures within SuperOffice, but as we know, this is only useful if your users are fully adopting the system. In this final section, Chris will show you how to use some of the standard tools in SuperOffice that can help you to monitor user adoption and activity level. Finally, I'd like to analyse how users are using the system, and in particular to focus on user adoption. In order to achieve this, I've created another dashboard, and this time I've called the dashboard activity pace. This dashboard consists of four tiles, and the first tile shows the user activity pace for this quarter. At a glance, I can see that the number of activities planned for this month is less than the previous month, and also less than the next month. So therefore, maybe we should focus more efforts to increase activity levels specifically for this month. The next tile shows our top activity level within my group, and straight away I can see that Peter Jones is doing very well, whereas Mary Williams isn't doing as well. So maybe Mary's manager could have a conversation in order to ascertain how activity levels can be increased for her. The third tile shows the activities by company category, and whilst it's reassuring to see that many of our activities are focused around existing customers, Maybe we should be focusing more efforts on activities around our prospects. The final tile shows follow-ups in numbers. And at a glance, I can see the number of activities this week compared to last week, the number of overdue activities, the number of activities due next week compared to last week, and also the number of activities created this week compared to last week. It's a little bit alarming to see that we have so many overdue activities so I'd like to drill down and find out what makes up that data. If I sort on the username column, I can scroll through the list, and straight away I can see that many of these activities belong to David Owens. But actually, David left our organisation several months ago. So now I'd like to reassign all of those activities from David to Mary Williams. So first of all, I can select all the activities currently owned by David and copy these into a selection. I'm going to call this selection reassign to Mary. And once the selection has been created, I can use another powerful feature of selections called Bulk Update. And Bulk Update would allow me to change the user ID from David to Mary. And now the system is updating all of those activities once owned by David to Mary Williams. So now Mary is able to follow up on all of those overdue activities. I hope you found this webinar insightful and I hope that you're all able to join us again for our next webinar where we'll be focusing on the marketing area, specifically looking at how we can send targeted mailings, personalising your messages, tracking links and also gathering information from web forms in order to update information within your CRM database. So there we have it. Chris has shown us how to identify data that requires cleansing, how to uncover our hidden treasures by finding potential opportunities within SuperOffice, and how to ensure the system is being utilised to its greatest potential through standard dashboards. We have a replay of this webinar on 21st of March via YouTube Live, or join us on the 25th of April for our next webinar, Going for Gold. We thank you for your time, and please do submit any questions you might have using the feedback form in the survey link.